Shadow Binders is back in stock on shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. And now on with the show. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And first we talked about BuzzFeed looking to get some more venture capital. And now we're going to talk about Vice looking yeah. to get some more venture capital by expanding outside of just being a trash news site. By expanding outside of just being a trash news site and they want to get into making trash movies and trash video games. It's, that's like the, what they all want to do now. Like... I know, we want more money. Let's go be a movie studio because it's just that easy. It's just that easy. What's going on, guys, is these websites have been propped up by venture capital for years and it's running out. And the only way they can keep going because they're not really that profitable, we know Vice isn't profitable. Disney lost $400 million. Yeah. If Vice, Vice was a great idea for make, making movies, I think Disney would have done that. They, they need content for Disney Plus. So you think they would have done that? They would have done that. They I'm just, you know, they thought they were capable. Uh, they're not capable, but they're going to try to reinvent themselves. BuzzFeed is is trying to reinvent itself as a tech company by saying that it's got this great tech business going that's basically Amazon affiliate links and uh, dildos. Yeah, pretty much. That's literally, yeah, they're going to make a Gamergate movie too because everybody wants a Gamergate movie. Are they going to have product placement? <laughs> they might. They might do that. Uh, tasty. Tasty branded. Tasty. Oh, that's not the same. They don't cross those streams. Do not cross those streams. So we're going to talk about Vice. And uh, yeah, I think a lot of these websites are going to get the mic treatment, the gawker treatment here in a couple of years that they can't rustle up some funds because uh, they're running out of money. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 206,000 subs. Woo! Uh, Woohoo, thank you for the support. I'm sorry, I was just reading this next thing, and you're so all these ladies that, that look all like definitely older women, right? And they're like, they're known for reaching young audiences with provocative content. Yeah! You know, I'm just like, yeah. yeah. Hello there, fellow kids. Yeah. So, Deadline put this up yesterday. Again, we did a video a couple of weeks ago talking about BuzzFeed trying mm -hmm. to reinvent itself. And now we've got Vice, you know, reminder again Vice cost Disney. A half a billion dollars because it was a bad, bad, bad investment. But that's okay. They suddenly know how to do movies. Yep. So their merger, BuzzFeed's merger last month and pending IPO have turned up the spotlight on Vice Media Group, also known for reaching young audiences with provocative content <laughs> and uh, older faces. It's retained that aura even as digital media fortunes rose and fell. What aura? I, I Stink. Wait, it has it, re it has retained that aura. Wait, it has, but that doesn't mean it's true. It's like his other things rose and fell like them. They still look like they're good. <laughs> they still look younger than they are. Oh. It's all good. All right. Aura. It Wouldn't it be better to have actual substance? Internet content players' new phase is emboldened by an army of so-called special purpose acquisition companies. That's the SPAC, run by combinations of investor backers and executives that buy businesses and take them public. This is another scheme. But that doesn't mean that it's going to do anything. Just going to take it public doesn't mean it's going to do well. No. It doesn't, that's not what it means. And I, you know, I did the video yesterday on IDW Publishing. They're trying to do a very stripped down version of this. Now, these guys are looking for hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars. Uh, IDW is looking for $8 million. And it's trying to go public, but their whole thing is like, we're going to pitch movie movie ideas to Hollywood, and we're going to make comic books based on those movie pitches to pitch them to Hollywood. And what if that doesn't happen? We're going to make board games, too, yep. for $8 million. Uh, meanwhile, an individual can go out there and crowdfund a couple of million dollars themselves for a comic book. But they got to go public to, to get $8 million. It's mm -hmm. crazy. But, you know, trust them. Trust them. Uh, anyway, IPOs bring in cash needed to expand, including acquiring small competitors, BuzzFeed Bot Complex, digital publisher Group 9, owner of Pop Sugar, Dodo, and Thrillist has launched its own SPAC. Are you seeing a trend here? It's all the same media outlets that have been basically... We failed here. Yeah. They're all failing. We still have the aura of success. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're failing. The so, reason they're doing this is they're failing to bring in enough ad revenue 
to keep themselves afloat and they're running out of other venture venture capital. So they're trying to rebrand themselves as like being a multimedia company. I was just laughing because I'm thinking it's like, a, it's like someone that's like 65 years old dyeing their hair like jet black and saying, I look 20. You know, it's just, No, you don't. Sorry, oh, God. Uh, Bice's position, private or public, in the evolving landscape has yet to be officially defined. It's talked with several SPACs in the most recent reports, now dating back to May, possibly combining with one called 7GC and Company, holding with a valuation said to be about $3 billion. Bullshit. Bullshit. Why are they pulling these numbers out of? They just, this is like where Dizzy's getting their Black Window numbers. You know, it's just like, yeah. the, my aura says that it's $3 billion. No, why they're why they're doing this is because if they're a tech company, they get a higher valuation. But they're, that seems like a scam. It is a scam. You're it's like a total and you're scam. valuing. So you know what? I could just say that someone valued us at like three hundred million dollars. It doesn't mean it's true. But we'll we'll sell. I up. think we're worth more than that. But that's because my mom says I, I'm good. Two hundred ninety five million. That's right. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. sell out. There you, there you go. go, guys. If you if Disney, if you, you want to shut us up, two hundred ninety-five you want, million. You want to shut us up, Disney? Two hundred ninety-five million dollars offers on the table. There you go. You can you can buy out Clownfish Media Enterprises Conglomerate Incorporated LLC. There you go, and then we'll just turn around and make another one. <laughs> so. We'll just turn around and make another one. Yeah. So Vice projects. Well, that's what happened with with Fox. They sold all their assets to Disney. They turned around. And started uh, another animation studio, and they bought Tubi. And just had different, under a different name. It's like we're still doing the same thing. You just took all of our leftover garbage. You came to our garage sale. You took all because at that point, like Alien had already been run into the ground. Predator had been run into the ground. We overpaid, and now we're taking our profits and making more. Stuff. Yeah, right. So Vice projects its revenue this year about six hundred eighty million from six hundred million last year. An insider told Deadline, "Our financing process is still ongoing, and we have had." Positive conversations with a range of investors. How are we gonna? How are we gonna trick people into giving us more money? But that's because you have revenue. Is that doesn't mean that's what you get to keep? No. Like you can make. You can say your revenue is six hundred and fifty million dollars, but you might owe seven hundred million dollars. So you know, it's it's. Yeah, I love this. You always look. Always look and see. This is this is what P and L means, guys. Right. Uh, you got to look at the bottom line because there are companies out there. It's like we made a half a billion dollars. This movie made a half a billion dollars at the box office. Granted, it be, you know, with the marketing, it costs six hundred million to market. Right, it doesn't mean it broke even. It's like again, look at WeWork, the documentary on WeWork. WeWork, yeah, yeah. check that out, and you'll see what we're, it, this is. This does sounds just like this. It sounds very similar. This is exactly like this. Uh, so they talked about the Peabody Award because yeah, that's that's worth money getting a Peabody. Who, mm -hmm. who gives a shit? Nobody cares. Uh, Vice News had its share of detractors. Uh, they said New York Times media Sorry. writer famously got into it with Vice's dynamic but outspoken co-founder. Just because you put on a fucking safari helmet and looked at some poop doesn't give you the right to insult what we do. Oh boy, um, that's that's this oh, is that's so okay. We don't need a safari helmet to, to insult what you do. This is what's so funny. Uh, these media outlets that came in, you know, 2011, 2012, 2013, Huff, Huffington Post already got absorbed by BuzzFeed. They came in, they made a lot of noise, they threw a lot of shade at traditional media. Oh, they were the ones throwing the poop that they were looking at. Right. And now YouTubers and podcasters are throwing the poop at them, and they don't like it very mm -mm. much. They really don't like it. Now now it's assault. I'm it's just like, like, I'm just like, I don't understand where they're getting these numbers from. And you're not seeing the whole picture. Yeah, you might have had six. I, okay, fine. That was your revenue. But what are your expenses? What do you owe? Well, if you're so doing so great, why do you need venture capital? So it bought uh, Refinery29. It bought uh, a production why? company. Why? And a warehouse space in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Why? Okay. I don't know. To make yourself... Oh, it's based in the... Oh, it's based they in the They went and bought a warehouse to put themselves in. Yes. At least it's not, at least it's not a, a San Francisco uh, loft with uh, cherry... You know, uh, yes, blossom yeah, trees yes, and yeah. a, a fake Tokyo. Yeah. Uh, the company differentiates itself from BuzzFeed and others in the digital sphere. This is how they're different than BuzzFeed. Vice also operates, but they didn't tell you how. The company differenti differentiates itself from BuzzFeed and how. They don't. They also operate Vice Studios, according to Dubik, are very much a player in the arms race for SVOD content. Oh, God, they're going to pitch Netflix deals. That's what I said. To do yeah. because they're all looking for digital content, so that's what they're going to try to do. They had an HBO deal, I do know that they have, and they have a network too. Uh, currently has deals with Hulu and Showtime for what for documentaries. No one's going to watch, 
Vice also owns creative agency Virtue, which has been a reliable cash Basically, generator. Basically, this went around, bought a bunch of shit, and they're hoping yes. that something sticks. Yep. Uh, she doesn't think it's generally appreciated how diversified Vice is. Yeah, Disney really... Appreciated that so much, yeah. Disney said it's worthless. Yeah, they really appreciate they, yes, that. Yes, basically, they have done, they've done this before, where they've spun, you know, smoke and mirrors and said their aura was fantastic and, you know, put lots of makeup on the pig, and then they got Disney to bite, and now Disney lost money. And that and, and very publicly, very, you know, it's been very widely talked about. So their answer is, let's go again. Let's see what we, let's see what dumbass we can get this time. So it said the studio is the key to growth. So they're going to become oh, yeah, a yeah. production studio. Indian Predator. Indian Predator. This is where they're pinning their hopes. They're try, no, they're trying to do shows for other countries. For Netflix in India. Ah, India. Again, India is coming up. Because in, in Disney and we said the hot star, they're yep. pushing for India. Yep. Uh, an American Gladiators documentary. So this is so documentaries are, are worth That's it. That's what they're doing is documentaries. You know what? There are people kickstarting documentaries all the time and they end up on streaming services. They do. Individuals can for do. For a lot less money. And, and we're talking like they don't get a whole lot of money for it. They're like, yeah. they might get a couple hundred thousand dollars for these things. And they're asking for all this money because they're, we got a studio. This is funny too. Uh, they're talking about social media content and growth. And they said Vice Media launched Waypoint Plus, a $5 per month premium subscription service that grew out of its gaming coverage site. They what happened to it? They shut Waypoint down. Not I was going to say, what happened to it? So this is Waypoint Plus, the free version of Waypoint. They shut it down. They rolled their gaming coverage into Vice because it was failing miserably. Mm -hmm. Oh, they'll say it was a strategic move for, We're, we're going to make you pay for it. For, you know, for, for getting, you know, making it look like they have more money. Uh, it's really encouraging. For Vice's no. presence on Roku and Pluto. You know, everybody can get on there. Indivi the, oh, God, this is right there with IDW. Like, we're going to spend millions of dollars to pitch shows. I'm like, you realize some rando on the street can put together a demo reel and walk in and pitch a show. Literally, right? like, kickstarted documentaries end up on can end up on Netflix and yeah. have many times. Yeah. Anybody, if you pay, can be on Roku. We were joking the other day. We were like, we should just get a Clownfish TV channel on Roku. Because if you pay for it, you can have it. Yeah. I mean, it's not like it's hard. It's not hard. Individuals can do what they do. Maybe not to the scale. Individuals can run a blog and you can compete toe to toe with these pe people. Individuals can can stream. Individuals can create documentaries. Individuals can, can do all of this shit. You do not need $3 billion of investor money. Because they make $680 million in revenue without an explanation of where that revenue goes or how much overhead there is or any of that stuff. This is a Hail Mary pass. Uh, all these websites are doing this now. All these, I mean, again, IEW Publishing is doing it. And the common denominator with all of them is... They're failing? Yeah. <laughs> they're failing, but they also want Netflix deals. That's the common... All these sites are all like, we're going to be a movie studio. You That's where that the money is. Just because you say you want a deal doesn't mean you get one, right? You know what? Hot damn, I want a Netflix deal too. Let's get on that. We should. Because I, I, I have named it and claimed it. We will get it now because I said so. You better. You're a woman. You deserve That's it because right. you're a woman. And I'm a ginger, so I'm an I'm even rarer woman. So you know what? And I had epilepsy too, if that makes a difference. I'm like, what else can I use? I don't even know at this point. Ah, just if you, whatever. Just lay the cards on the table. Play all the cards. There you go. There you go, Netflix. Call us. Call us. No, they're not going to call us. No, I doubt very much they'll call us. We call them out too much. Yeah, we call everybody out. We're equal opportunity haters. That's right. All no, right. we just see bullshit and we're like, oh, hell no. Um, this is, look, guys, if there has ever been a more golden opportunity for individuals to make independent content, it's now. Because I'm like, how many idiots does it take to screw in a light bulb? They really these, a lot. These companies with these massive, I mean, there are, look at these gaming, you know, journos. Uh, they're getting paid a hundred and some thousand dollars a year. They can't even play the damn games. Oh, that's hate speech. Oh. <laughs> what I hate to watch people who can't play games play games. They do more than that. They they like they like to do political opinion pieces on a gaming site to tell you what you should and shouldn't think. So they let you know that you're a misogynistic, istophobic, whatever asshole. Yeah, there we go. We need we need the moral compass of Vice and BuzzFeed. Right, because you know, they have shown so many times that they are all about being a moral compass. And, you know, none of their stuff is ever, you know, questionable. I thought you said compost. Oh, well, you know, that, that that's compost. what they came across like. That wasn't what they were necessarily going for. All right, guys. So I'm, again, going to uh, 
going to leave. Yeah, BuzzFeed wants 1.5 billion. Mm -hmm. um, so do I. I would like it too. Yeah, we're gonna leave it right here. Disney says Vice is worthless. We're gonna wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.